Hey guys, this is Keshav. Thyroid problem is very common like hypo or hyperthyroidism. And to treat that we should know the pharmacology. And to know the pharmacology first we should know the thyroid hormone synthesis. So let's get into it. So this is a thyroid gland. And if you see, these are there are two lobes. This is first lobe and this is the second lobe. And this center part is isthmus. And in thyroid gland, there are many follicles are present. And between this follicle, this part, this is colloid. And if we zoom in to the one follicle, so this is a follicle, and these are follicular cells. And in the center, this part, this is colloid. And in the colloid, there is a glycoprotein that is known as thyroglobulin. And this thyroglobulin is made up of tyrosine amino acid. These are tyrosine amino acid. And now when we eat food rich in iodine, this iodine comes to the blood and then it goes into the thyroid gland to sodium iodide co-transporter. Then this iodide goes into the colloid. And in the colloid, this iodide get converted into iodine. And this process is known as oxidation. And then this iodine gets joined with tyrosine. And if one iodine joins with tyrosine, this is known as MIT or monoiodotyrosine. And if two iodine gets joined with tyrosine, then this is known as DIT or diiodotyrosine. And this reaction is known as organification. Then next reaction takes place. And in this reaction, there is a coupling between these two takes place. And if MIT joins with DIT, then it is known as T3. And if DIT joins with DIT, then it is known as T4. And this reaction is known as coupling. And this T3 and T4 stores in colloid. And this thyroid peroxidase, this will regulate all the three reactions. This is the enzyme that regulates all the three reactions. Okay. And when there will be a stimulation of TSH, when TSH will stimulate thyroid, then this hormones get released into the blood. Thank you.